Hey y'all, we're here at Encounter Wargaming. My name is Adam, and this video is going to be all about me painting my Yu Jing uh, faction here from the Operation Red Veil starter set for Infinity. Uh, so this video, I'm going to kind of show you the paints, and I'm going to show you each stage along the way, and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Here's stage one of painting my Yu Jing. So uh, you can see I just got in with the airbrush on these yellow guys. And same thing with this one. So all the all these folks in front that are yellow, I primed white. And then I'll show you the, the colors that I used. So here's the first one. It's a Master Reaper Master Series, orange brown. And then GW Flash Gets Yellow mixed in with it for the highlight. So just those two so far. And then the guys in the back, I uh, just I actually primed one of them uh, white, one of them black. And then so for, for this uh, chick here, this is kind of assassin looking chick with a bow, um, I just a couple layers of gray just lighter and lighter and this guy actually uh, did in blue first and then the, with the same gray uh, lighter and lighter on him as well so there you go that's stage one painting my Yu Jing See it's stage two. So I've just gone ahead and done some base coats. You can see the paint colors that I used in the back there. So just base coated stuff like the pants, the guns black, did some little silver detailing, picked out their hair, faces, skin, uh, uh, pistol holsters and stuff and base coated the bases that their first layer so still pretty simple at this stage see you in the next stage this step is probably a little bit different from what you guys are used to so what I did was I took this uh, airbrush gloss varnish and I just airbrushed them all with a nice gloss varnish and then these two things here, this panel line, I got the dark brown and the black, uh, is an enamel type wash that what it does, and I'll just zoom it right in here, is it just gets in all those little thin lines. So it really just picks out all the details. Okay, so much like a wash that you would use. Um, but with the gloss to reduce the surface tension and just the nature of the wash it itself, it just like loves to sink in the crevices so it does a really effective job it's really great for doing space marines um, but I found that it worked here as well and then what you can do also is using this stuff here um, mineral spirits go over after and uh, any any bleed out uh, so like for example this guy on his wing. Let's see if I can focus in on it. See that? I left that there for you guys. See how the in the corner of his wing between the orange and the gray. So if you just take the mineral spirits and put it on there and wipe it off with your finger or a brush then it'll just leave it behind in the cracks and it'll come off that flat surface. So really really effective for this step. So a little bit subtle um, but very important and gives really good detail between all the cracks and armor pit plates and stuff. See you guys in the next stage. I'm going to start highlighting. We're now at the last stage of painting for the miniatures. I've done everything except for the base and what I've done is I've taken uh, every color that I base coated and given it two layers of highlights. So generally with all my base colors here I then mixed in any one of these three paints. So either uh, white 
or this is U-Shop T-Bone, no, Screaming Skull, uh, and then for the Flesh Tone, I mixed in this one's Pale Flesh, Game Air color, and so there you go. So let me just zoom in, show you guys the results. Very excited about playing with these folks. It's gonna be good. All right, so I just have to do the bases, and we'll be back right after that. And here they are, all completed. Just got the bases finished. Essentially, just took some grays and airbrushed them on the base and did some little highlights, dropped some wash inside the little rivets, um, and painted the second layers of plastic card with some gold, Balthazar gold, highlighted with Gehenna's gold, and a little bit of silver, um, and painted the rims black, and then put a little bit of Vallejo pigment, uh, the oxide rust on there. Well done, looking pretty spiffy if I must say so myself. Pretty proud of it. Pretty excited to use these guys. And there you go, that's my painted Infinity Yu Jing from the Red Veil starter set. <laughs>